G'day all you boat lovers out there, it's Ari with Denison Yachting and I'm here at Elliott Bay Marina in Seattle to show you one of my favorite pocket cruises. It is the Ranger Tug 31. And this model is a 2016 and it shows like new. Let's go take a look. So just here, we've got B Pod 2016 Ranger Tug 31. Great thing about these little pocket cruisers is it's just kind of like a Swiss army knife of boats. Uh, we've got features that just pop out of everywhere. Just here on the bow, we've got a chair which lifts out and a table um, which pops in there just for entertaining if you're an anchor or just want a bit of separation from the main entertaining area down aft. Do have a side door here which is great for docking and a cleat. Uh, so if you're single handing, this boat's very, very easy. Uh, we've got a sport rack up top as well. Kayaks, um, one of those Thule uh, boxes or bikes, uh, anything like that is really handy. You've got all that, uh, you can just pop up on the sport rack. There is also a solar panel, which is a uh, nice little trickle charger for the batteries. Uh, you can see you've got radar, uh, spotlight, and a couple of different GPS's there. Great thing about this boat being in 2016, it was the first year that Ranger Tug changed uh, the 31 model. So you have a hard top on the aft deck, uh, and this one has the upgraded extra option of the full enclosure, which looks really, full enclosure looks really sharp. So this boat actually was in a boathouse for a lot of its life. Uh, so the gel coat is really in great shape. Recently waxed as well. Let's uh, jump on board and check her out. So down aft here we have a Weaver Davit system with a uh, um, fluid motion and Ranger Tug built rib, the, the 290, uh, and uh, he has an electric outboard which it comes with as well. Nice and easy, I love the electric outboard, no maintenance. Got a magma grill here. Uh, this is a propane locker, and then you also have a uh, little swim ladder down there. Got the courtesy light switch just here little hot and cold shower really great entertaining space here with this large table and uh, we've got these chairs which fall out to either side huge storage underneath here we can open up here Nice storage spot there. Another one back here. Got the um, inverter charger there as well and big batteries up forward. There is also additional storage under this chair too. Um, this is the Northwest edition. So we've got diesel heating, no generator, so very, very low maintenance. And I love uh, having the platform back here instead of a generator sitting here. It means you can get in and access everything. Uh, so it makes it really easy for maintenance. See the stern thruster there, steering gear. Also got a uh, little drink fridge down aft here as well. And uh, this has the upgraded option with the steering station back here as well. There's also the underwater light switch here too. And uh, got the Volvo Penta electronic gear control. Let's jump inside and take a look. Okay, so we walk in. Let's see, we've got this nice big galley space to starboard. Propane oven and two burner cooktop. Dual stainless steel sink. The 
out nozzle. Lots of good storage in here. And then, yeah, all storage throughout, these four. And then we've got drawers in here as well. And then to port, we have guest cabin, which is also a really good storage space. And an additional head. And these two cushions are the cushions for the bow, the bow seating. And the one, the cushion underneath is the cushion to transform this dining table into an additional berth. We've got our DC panel just here, and our AC panel over here as well. Inverter charger, battery monitor, and then your Webasto diesel heating control. Just underneath, we've got a microwave, and just forward, we have a wine fridge. To start it again, we've got the Novacool refrigerator freezer. Pulling back, checking out this dining area. Really large space, and it is versatile as well, so opens up, you get a couple of drink holders, grab rail, and then this also pops down, you saw the cushion below, sits in there, so you have an extra berth. And when you're underway, if you want to keep the captain company, got this additional seating area, and a little table. Extra countertop space under here as well. And let's check out the home station. So just here at the home station. Great space, huge Garmin display here, which uh, includes AIS, radar, which we saw earlier. There's the uh, VHF 200 Garmin. Uh, over here we've got the Volvo Penta display. You can see 599 hours on the engine there, very low hours. Uh, and here we have the uh, Garmin Autopilot. Got the windlass control, means you don't need to go forward to adjust the windlass. Wipers, horn, nav lights, all the good stuff. And here is one of my favorite features. So if you're using the Arctic steering control, uh, you can have this around your neck and this is the bow and stern thruster remote. Just over here we have the heater craft heater. Uh, this, even though we do have a Wabasto diesel heater, uh, which runs uh, off the Wabasto furnace, uh, if you're underway you don't need to use that. You can actually just use, efficiently use the uh, heat from the engine uh, to heat the vessel, which is the heater craft system. Very efficient. See the bow and stern thruster, Bennett trim tabs, and the electronic gear control from Volvo. The little Weems and Plath barometer here as well. Just underneath is the uh, autopilot remote as well from Garmin. The little magnetic compass outside too, and just above is the spotlight control. Just here is a fold down TV. And uh, you can get this up there, uh, displayed up there as well. So you can kind of have an, an, an additional screen. And if you're an anchor. Let's head forward to the master cabin. I've got the upgraded mattress pad protector. Uh, sorry, mattress pad uh, memory foam cover rather. It is very comfortable. Lots of good natural light through here as well. Majesty screen there, fusion stereo throughout the vessel. We've got uh, one control here, one in the salon as well. You can see speakers throughout. And uh, this has a mirror here. And uh, there is another little table which folds down there. Uh, one other thing for the 2016 model, they added some additional storage. So you've got 
additional storage cabinet in here and underneath. The older ones did not have that, they just had the, the, the main one here. Electric head. Nice uh, glass sink. And there are these plastic panels here which can cover everything so when you're having a shower it's not getting, getting everything wet. Got an additional medicine cabinet up there. And uh, you get good airflow because you do have two portholes which you can open in here. Okay, time to jump back and have a look at the engine room here. So just this button here, just inside the cabin is on a hydraulic lift for the engine room here. Just pop straight open. Bennett Ram. And uh, the engine has been serviced regularly by the Volvo, the main Volvo dealer up here in the Pacific Northwest, Pacific Power Group. Last service was in March 2023, 588 hours. So really, uh, just over 10 hours, uh, or just run around 10 hours uh, on the engines since the last service. You can see it's really easy to get around everything. Let's jump in the back. Have a look back here. The storage there again. Fuel filter, belt looks good. No water in the forward part of the bilge. Nice and easy. Thanks for coming on the tour today of one of my favorite pocket cruisers. Very rare to see a boat in this size range with three berths and uh, such great entertaining spaces. For further information or for an in-person tour, Feel free to reach out to me, Ari Sher, anytime on 772-240-0888 or via email at ari at denisonyachting.com. See you on the water. For today's video, I'm going to leave you guys with a little clip of us cruising in the boat. Let me know what you think.